For the last 20 years, I've had guys yelling at me, DEATH FROM ABOVE! Hey sci-fi fans, Aaron Sager's here. And I am with the cast and creative team of Starship Trooper, Traitor of Mars. Why is this thing lasting? Because, I mean, it, people love this movie and love this franchise. It's 20 years now. Yeah. Uh, because the fans like it enough, and Sony and our producer Tony has fought hard to do more of these things. And, and Casper, when you first took this role like 20 years ago, did you have any idea that this would have the legacy that it does? Yes, I totally knew I am <laughs> omniscient that way. You can only hope for something yeah. like this. You can only hope for the reaction. I was never Johnny Rico until, I mean, when I was a kid, I read this book, and mm -hmm. I wanted to see myself as that character as you do when you're reading any book. Um, you, you're reading, you're fantasizing it, but to get to play it, it's a surreal experience. But for the last 20 years, as he says, I've had guys yelling at me, Rico, you know what to do! Or, you know, so I, it's for years now. I, I, I get this, death from above! And kill them all, and all this other stuff. Mm -hmm. Quotes, all, almost every single day of my life for 20 years, um, which is, is awesome. Well, you know, Tony, as producer for this, for Trader of Mars, what was sort of something that you had in mind as far as expanding the franchise and moving it forward? What were some of the things that you were thinking about? The thing is, um, it's, well, sci-fi films cost a lot of money, so we, we wanted to still maintain the, the first live action feel of it, but then we had a limited budget, so I thought, we can continue on this great franchise with a CG anime. And uh, Shinji, could you add to that just as far as tackling this project and, um, and, and also just what, you know, your own personal connection to Starship Troopers as a franchise, yeah. He was, of course, a fan of the first film, but before that, he was a fan of the, the book. He was the one actually proposed to say, hey, let's do Starship Troopers, starter of the, the, the animated, you know, films. And Ed, when you're pushing this, this story forward, does it become a challenge to add something new without being too precious of the, the other stories that you've worked on? I don't know, I've, I find it pretty easy to write these characters and they sort of, they get older and the world changes and we have another war and that kind of gets reflected in each Starship Trooper somehow. So it, it, wasn't, it wasn't very difficult uh, to come up with new stuff for them to do. Uh, it, there was still, it's funny, no matter how much money we have or don't have, there's always uh, budget problems and you always have, there's always stuff you can't do and you always have scenes that you would like to do that the producer comes and says, well, no, we can't do that. So mm. that, it's, it's, it's his fault always. <laughs> <laughs> Starship Troopers, Trader Mars, coming at you this fall. And we've got coming from these guys. So thanks so much for joining us at San Diego Comic Con. Right. You know what to do. Kill them all! Yeah. Yeah.